Hey everybody, I am Paul Kutzinger and I'm here to show you how to make your very first extension in Omniverse. The thing we're going to do here is create a button that you can click that will spawn a cube. As easy as that. So here's what I've done. I've gone to the Omniverse launcher and from there I've launched code. So this is the coding tool that you can use to create extensions and so forth in Omniverse. So let's get to it. The first thing to check out is the documentation. Uh, the, the documentation that we'll be following here is called this getting started with extensions. So if you just click that, that'll walk you through some of the stuff that we're about to talk through. Uh, here's how you do it. You go to window extensions, and this will bring up all the extensions that you can use. And there's all sorts of them. You can just replace this featured with a search and just see all the different kinds of things you could build. In fact, all of the UI that you see in code and create is actually an extension. So if you want to see how it's done, you can just search there and look it up yourself. Let's create a new one. We're going to hit this little plus. I'm going to use a template and I'm going to save it into my folders here. This will be uh, spawn a cube extension. And the ID, I'm going to call it paul.spawn.cube. Okay. So there we have it. We have uh, this little extension that just showed up, a little window, a label, and a click me button. And the other thing that happened was um, Visual Studio popped up. So let me bring that over to my other monitor for you here. So here we have Visual Studio and it's got my project here that we just did spawn a cube and in extensions under Paul extension.py I can see the code that's used to run this little pop-up window extension. I'm going to make a couple changes here. So instead of my window, I'm going to call it spawn a cube. And then the button when you say instead of click me, I'm going to say spawn cube. And then let's hit save on that. And immediately you can, where'd it go? There we go. Immediately you can um, see that the text changed to match. And when I click spawn a cube down here in the console, uh, here in the console, you can see it says clicked, which is just what I would have expected it to do. Cause that's what we printed to the console. All right, so yeah, and you can you can drag this guy and dock it to different parts of the UI, or you can have it be a tear it off and have it be a little pop up like that. So that's the spawn a cube basic thing. Oh, I want to change one more part here in the config in this extension Tomel file. Right now we have this thing called simple UI extension template, and I'm going to change that to be Paul's spawn a cube save that again and you can see that the extension name inside of the extension manager changes to map and, it, and if i disable the extension it goes away if i enable it it comes up great one other thing to note that's kind of interesting here is if you click on the little gear you can see all the places from which you're pulling extensions i'm pulling it straight from my hard drive right now but you could pull it from github um, or whatnot, nuclear server, so forth. And that just, that's the default, um, when I built it, but you could, you could add others by clicking this little place button. Okay. Well, it's not spawning a cube let yet. So let's make it do that. Uh, let's dock this guy over here for now. All righty. Um, the other thing, oh, this is normally over here. So the other thing that you'll see over here is in this next this properties panel, there's this commands tab. So grab that. I like to put it over here, make it nice and wide. I'm going to clear history. So what this is going to do is just going to log all the commands that I have. And I want to uh, spawn a cube. So let's go do it. I will go create shape cube. Bloop. There's my cube. And in this commands window, I now see the commands that it took to actually spawn that cube. So if I just select this, 
this command I wanted and I copy it, this copy from clipboard, the selected command. And I go back into my extension and in the on click here, let's just paste that in. And we've, of course, Python time, we get to tab this over. And then I'm gonna move this import up to the top just because I like it I'm up at the top. Okay, so now when I click it, it's gonna say clicked. I'm gonna actually just change that for fun times. Made a cube. Great. And I'm gonna hit save. Let's delete this cube from the scene. Uh, we'll grab our little our little thing and we go spawn a cube and there it is and it said in our console made a cube so that is a super quick and dirty version of make your first extension get to mess around a little bit with the ui and get to spawn an object in the scene so i can only imagine where you might go from there <laughs> have a good one uh, i'm paul cutsinger find me wherever you find people out on the internet and I look forward to seeing what you make.